Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matisse Crafts. Welcome to our channel. So this evening we'll be creating two cards featuring the Thoughtful Expressions Bundle uh, by stamping up from the mini catalogue January to April 2024. If you are watching the replay, do fast forward to the demonstration as we will say hello to those of you who have joined us live. Thank you so much. So we have Anne. Hello. Kisha, Haya, Janice, Cheryl, Maureen, Linda, uh, Vic, Fair Do Scrap. I think I pronounced that okay ish, <laughs> but hello, Vic. Um, Nani Shasha, <laughs> you were waiting. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> I, knew, I knew that it was coming. <laughs> Pauline, Haya, we also have Amanda. Uh, Nancy Amato, Be More Stamper, Valerie, Mary Sickler, Danette, Sylvia, hello, hello, uh, Margaret, Amanda, Rose, Heather Cole, Jackie Elliot. Thank you so much. Perfect French accent, apparently. Oh, thank you. <laughs> don't, give You're big, don't, don't give him a big head, Vic, please. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yes, oh, Amanda, thank you for your lovely card. We received it today as well, so it, it popped in the post today. I think you today. can just see it. It's just in the corner. <laughs> I'm pointing there. on the screen, but it's <laughs> up there. So you kind of need to go here somewhere. Where is it? Somewhere. Yeah, uh, yeah it's over there. There you go, Jay's got it. So it's just <laughs> in the corner there. So thank you so much that arrived today. Yeah. So, um... Right, so you got both of us tonight. Um, we'll see how this goes. I've got. I'm going to take inspiration from the um, from the stamping up catalogue for tonight's one, and we're going to be using. Did you mention what we're using? I was obviously paying so much attention. Yes, um, thoughtful expressions is what we're going to be using tonight, which is what Jay did for the colouring masterclass last night. So, not much colouring going on tonight because Jay has actually already coloured everything. Um, but I will be doing a little bit of colouring because I need to. I need to change the colours ever so slightly, so just do some simple colouring on one of mine. And um, But I think you're going to be using all of last night's as, as well, aren't we? Yes. So I'm sure Jay will pop the link in there for the colouring masterclass. So if you do have this set and you would like to learn how to colour it the way that, we go, like the way that we've done it, it's going to be showing you with the images tonight, then um, just click the link. Jay will post that very shortly once we're doing a demonstration. And um, yeah, you can book in for the replay of that if you like, or book in for the whole six months um, membership and you get exclusive content as well, extra content. So, um, so yes, that's what we're going to be doing this evening. Cool. So, um, yes, we've had a few more come in. We have uh, Marley, Marley, uh, Judy, Stempelstein, Connie, and I think that is everyone. That welcome, is welcome. Hello, hello. Lovely. All right, so let's go a camera down. Let's add a light. Lovely. So I've got to ask Vic, are you going to be at, um, at Rotterdam? Vic? Yes. Yes, he is. Okay. He is. That's good. So I just forget yeah, we are still right. So I'm also going to be using the, um, as we mentioned, the Thoughtful Expression stamp set. So a lot of this stuff has already been coloured from last night. So we'll show you some of that as well. Also going to pair that with the Thoughtful Expression dies. Jay did scare me earlier on. I said to him, I said, he said, you can use any of this stuff, but you're going to have to fussy cut it. And then I was looking at the looking at the dies on the castle stuff. I said, I'm sure it's got dies which come with it. Maybe we didn't buy them, and that, that was it. After and Jay realised that after he fussy cut it out as well as a die. Um, fortunately, I realised that we have dies for this stuff before I actually had to fussy cut it out. So these are the dies which you get with this. You get these lovely um, sort of like label dies, and you get the dies which are going to work perfectly with the stamp set as well to cut out all of these lovely images and the labels for these lovely sentiments which you've got on here. So that is what we're going to be with is those ones. Going to pair that with the Poetic Expressions Designer Series paper. Which is this one right here. So we've got some lovely patterns going on right here. One, two, three, four. That one's lovely, isn't it? And that one. And then we turn it over and then we get these ones right here. 
I've got a channel. I've got a, I've got a video hop next month, and the theme is um, vintage and shabby chic. And I think this paper might be the one which I might mm. have to use for it. Yeah. Actually, I was looking at the topic today, and I thought, so, oh, I'll try and get a head start on sort of vintage and shabby chic. What can I use? And then I was getting this paper out from so this might be the one which I have to be using. So now I just have to decide what paper I'm going to be using. Obviously, for the inspiration which I've taken from the catalogue, this here is the paper which we are using. Um, but I'm also quite liking that one as well. But I think that might be a bit too... I'm going to keep it, I think, to how it, how it is. We're going to keep it to the blue, I reckon. away I just pop that down by the side of the joke you need to pay for it's down there so right let's just see what we're doing so I'm gonna grab myself some basic white thick I reckon is what we're gonna go for we're gonna have a basic white thick card base let's do our 14 by 21 the score in half at ten and a half you will need to give me some time checks, Jay, because you know, once I, I get a little bit carried away and don't actually pay any attention to the time, being that we're both crafting tonight, we... <laughs> <Ten pounds>. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we'll be here for hours. So that's that, and then I'm kind of thinking I'm going to take this designer series paper and I'm going to do a strip, but I don't know how big a strip I want to take it yet. So... I'm going to start off with a three inch strip. So, and this is where I flick between centimetres and inches. So a three inch by 14 centimetres. It's five and a half. Which is five and a half. And this is where I'm just going to take out the part which I want because I don't like having to cut whole pieces. Oh, do you not? I don't like having to cut whole strips out because then I think to myself, this strip here, I'm stuck with a three inch, um, where you just know it'd be typical that the piece which I want, the off cut which I need will be need to be bigger than this. So I tend to like to cut out. So that, have you not noticed that I do that, Joe? Yeah, I just no, cut. No. Does that annoy you? <laughs> I'd, I'd rather have tiny off cuts in the pack than random shapes. <laughs> I want random shapes. <laughs> so, um, so, yes, that's that. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a haircut. We need to change okay. our blade, I think. Ask, ask everyone how they keep their... Do they keep... Yeah, how do you cut, how do you cut your paper? Do you... No, Tommy. I've got a case. Tommy. I'm just going to have to get rid of a cat for a moment. There we go. How do you cut your paper? Do you would you have cut that down at three inches and gone all the way across and then done it that way, or would you have done it like I've done? Are you a, are you a, are you on a bat? Are you on a B team or are you on a J team? Yeah. So. Or the A team. Well. <laughs> You're the B team. No, I'm joking. <laughs> rude so I think I'm going to do that I may cut this down to a smaller size and what I may do is I may just use a stronger color coming in at the background here um, like that just to maybe just set that off or even maybe some barmy blue might look work nice or maybe using some boho blue like a tone on tone so that's kind of where I'm going at the moment but that's going to change so can I show all of this stuff over here Jay yeah yeah so this is the bits and bobs which um, Jay cut coloured, or well, he didn't colour all of no, this last night, but a, a lot of this samples. So this is stuff which he coloured last, uh, or has coloured in preparation for the class which we did last night, so using the bits out of that. Um, and he has kindly allowed me to use some of them as well. Normally, I don't know what I'm allowed to use, so I don't use them, but he said to me last night, he said, you can, you can use images, but he told me the images I could not use. <laughs> which was only about two or three, wasn't it? Mm. So we've got these ones, and obviously he showed how to colour some of these last night as well. 
obviously we've got some half bits and bobs there where he was just explaining so yes yeah, so that's the um inspire that's what we're going to be using and these are some of the stuff i've already pulled out which we got i just realized i've still got the markers here from the color and master class let's I just know. move these off i was going to say it but It's quite a mix, a few uh, B teams and J teams. Cheryl's on a both teams. Yes. <laughs> Vic, good, you're on a B team. <laughs> so there we go, so that's what we've got. Let's just look at how well that is coloured there, that's just lovely. So that's what we've got and we've got the flowers going on right here as well. I am going to stamp one because I do need it to be in a slightly different colour um, to what we have got. Which is the big flower here. Because I need it as... Um, yeah, I need it in a subtler colour because the I was going to use one of these ones right here, but even these were too strong. Um, it made it too busy. So what was that, Mary? I'm weird. I have DSP that I won't use because I can't get more of it, and if I run out. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't think you're the only one that does that, Mary. So you're not alone. Um, so I'm going to go with pool party here for the flowers, and we're just going to keep this simple. I'm not going to be colouring this and putting any shading in this. We're just going to have this lovely pool party. <coughs> Colouring going on here with these flowers. I'm going to kind of just let the stamp do its bit. But if you want to use the lines for shading and blending, then please go ahead. That's that. We're going to bring in some soft sea foam here. Just for the, the leafings. Like this. Which is good, and then we will then just bring in a little bit of the fresh freesia here, and we will then just colour in some of these bits like that. There we go. I'm just going to just is that dark pool party. I add a little bit in there. This one's just tone on tone. I'm just going to kind of just. And I said I wasn't going to do that, but we'll just add a little bit of shading in there. But that's fine. It should be a dark. Is that running out? The dark, sir. Yeah? Yeah, this one's fine. Okay. What's that one there? A dark pool party. Yeah, dark pool party's here as well. I was and just this. wondering if it was running out. No, the bullet point's fine anyway. Oh. So there we go, we've got some very, very simple colouring going on here. But the majority of this is going to get colour covered up. So we're going to use the dye which comes with this. And we will just quickly cut this out. Like so. So bring the machine over. What's that trying to channel? Yes, Charlotte, good philosophy there. Use it and let somebody else enjoy it. 
You can't enjoy it if it's sat in the cupboard. So Mary, maybe you should start using Charlotte's philosophy there and just use that paper. Enjoy it. So there we have it, and that there is what we've got for that one. I'm gonna just have a little look and see what labels we're gonna be doing, because whilst I've got my machine out, I may as well have a little look at some of these labels. So we'll start off with the middle size, the second largest one. I'm just gonna cut this die out here. If it's too large, then I can always cut it and go in for a smaller one in a moment. Well, is Jaylene not feeling too well? I'm just seeing some comments coming. Oh, no. Get well soon, Jaylene. So there we have that. I will be cutting out some other bits as well because we've got some nice leafings going on in there as well. So we can, we can cut those out in a bit. But we're kind of just going to add this over here. We're going to use some of these stronger ones which are going to go down over like that. So I, kind of, yeah, so I think that's quite a nice side banner. And then I'm going to then decide... Um, what sentiment to use. It's you kind of want it's kind of it's a very it's a very sad um, sentiment kind of thing really, isn't it? My thoughts are with you today. Sometimes there are no words and well enjoy your day but that doesn't fit in with what I want. Where in the world would you be without you? Let's see if that one would go in. We kind of go down. So that may work like that. And then we can then kind of have my bird hovering over this. So let's just see whether or not that fits in like that. So I think we'll do that. As lovely as the other sentiments are, they are they are a little bit low they're good if you need to send somebody that type of card but obviously it's not a not card we always make so we're going to do that and I'm kind of just going to add this over to the side here so my head's just going to have to sneak in a little bit here And I've kind of just gone towards the right hand side more. Knowing that the left is going to have the flowers and the bird, like so. And then giving me a little bit of room to then add these ones over like this. So that's kind of where we're going to go with that one. Um, I'm just going to, I think, just shorten this fraction. So I was a three inch. Let's take this down. I'm going to take a quarter of an inch off. And I need to bring in a stronger colour. So what colours work with this paper? Again, let me just have a little look. Um, so what is boho blue? I just need to see which is an in colour. Bear with me. Tom is in the way. <laughs> Tom is in the way. Sleeping on the chair by the side of me. Do I 
like a bit of a dark colour still because that kind of I think that might work there because it's still just giving me a little bit of contrast so 14 and all I need to do is just kind of cut two strips about half an inch doesn't need to be exact on these ones because I'm going to stick that behind and behind over there just to kind of give that a bit of a border and then we've got a solid colour coming down on this. Do remember you can purchase anything you see us using from our online shop. So I'll just pop the link up on the screen right now. So it's safe for me to say it now because I'm not going to have Jay hit me in the head. So um, matusicrafts.com forward slash shop. Then you can order your stamping up craft supplies from us via that link. There you go. That's what I did there. Those of you that know will know. <laughs> Let's just pop that one on. Like that. So this is a good way of doing your board without using big chunks. Just make it big enough that you can glue it to it. There you go. All right, so okay, it's, it's tone on tone, but it's just enough, I think, that it will just help make that stand out just a fraction. And then we can then go ahead and stick that to the card because we're going to pop the rest of the stuff up on dimensionals, I reckon. So we'll have this down flat. Centrally down the middle. That's that. And then that there is going to be able to go over the top like this, like so. So I reckon we will pop that directly down onto some dimensionals. So, how many shall I use today? Let's go with five today. Yeah, the video's slightly um, late, so I can't see. Now no. I can see. <laughs> Yeah, see, Jay's watching the video, um, but obviously he's watching the delayed version of it, so he's hearing me say these things before the video catches up. Um, and I just realised that I did that around the wrong. I've just done that the wrong way around. Never mind. The, so the stitching. I just realised should have been that way, and I've put my dimensionals and I've stamped on the background, but that's that's fine. I'm still it's it's still okay. That's good. But just a little um, schoolboy error there. You can still see still see the stitching um, quite nicely, which is fine. It's just textured. Yes, yeah, just textured. That's it. And again, I'm going to be covering. It's going to be covered up anyway, so it's not. Uh, it's not. A, it's not a major issue. Um, so so we're kind of just going to be adding these bits. So the flower, the bird's gonna actually go completely over that flower like that because I don't need, can't have it hanging off the card too much. So it probably might have been better for me to have maybe have done it this way. Let me just see if I can get that off and do it. Let's do it a landscape. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Which 
dimension. The dimensionals are if you're if you're quick with them, you can off one. get them off. And that's when using less is <laughs> easier because there's less to come off. Um, but you can. If you're quite, if you're careful with them, you can pull them off. Charlotte says she's got a suggestion. What? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so let's go this way here. We go like that. Let's just make sure I've got that. There. That goes in like that. Then I can then don't I don't have to color anything up. So, oh, never mind. Change your mind, Charlotte. I said, I've got Suki on my lap, so I can physically stop you. So that's that. So it's still going to um, cover up quite a bit of that. But... There and then we can then make that one and that one over here like that. So that's kind of where we're going to be going with this. Um, I will just try and see. Everything all right? Yeah. No, it's just looking. It's um. You're just going to see. I'm just going to grab in some of the. Spriggings here and let's go from that and we will just add those in. Well you say bird on the right, do you um Yanny Yanny Scrap? There's not enough space. There's no, I don't think there's enough <laughs> space um, for it. It's kind of. So let's have a little look at maybe some of this stuff here. Let's see if we can add. So I'm going to take some balmy blue. And. Um, old olive. Not Mossy old meadow. olive, Mossy Meadow. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. Or a hit say. What was that? Uh, I was, was going to say, uh, just stamp it. And, uh, right. And then have the bird on the left, but obviously the other way around. When you had it in orca, I think. Ah, okay. Nothing stuck yet apart from that sentiment, so. We still have some. We still have a bit of design changes available. Fucked up in here. Yeah, it does just seem, what I tend to do is those little bits which you just see me scrape off now, I just I put in my hand, even the bins to the side of me. I just, just chuck them on the carpet. <laughs> There's a bin right next to you. Yeah, naturally you want to put the, um, you want to put the bird flying into the card, but I quite like it flying out of the card. Um, doing that for my card anyway, so, so Jay's going to be you're going to be flying in, are you? Yeah. Jay's going to be flying in, so I reckon I'm going to stick it as being flying out. But it does kind of make sense, kind of coming in, but it doesn't work with the way I've done that sentiment. So we're going to have it. What if you? 
turn this the other way. Sorry, I know it's not my card. No, this. So then you have your space for, and you can see the flowers a little bit more. So what am I doing? So actually bring it up because you want to see the flowers, don't you? Well, it depends what you want to see. So, and then you have your other flower down here. Okay. So it's up to you, but I, I like the one that you had it like that. It just depends what you want to see. Yeah, okay, well, we'll just do it like that then. We'll just go up, we we'll come down like that. And then I'll just stick those two over there and then we're done. So, so I just pop that over there, like so. I just pop a bit of glue randomly behind over here, coming down like that. I have these two together over here. Like I say, I'm literally just doing a case of the catalogue on this one here. So I've just I've used the same layout um, and having the bird flying out as well like this is is kind of how I'll show you, I can show you the inspiration which I've taken from it. It's in our online shop. You can see it on our online yeah. shop. <laughs> like that and then we'll see whether or not we can potentially get some of these green bits coming out underneath but i'm going to just pop the the bird on some more dimensionals just to give it a little bit of height on that just need to work out where what is going to be yeah, it's all going to be Hi Jackie. Yeah, I've just seen your comment there, Jay. Squinting. Squinting doesn't work for me. I just if I squint I can't see. No, but you can see. <laughs> or use your finger. Your index finger and your thumb to make a pin hole. <laughs> So I know, I know it's quite big, which is kind of why we decided to go with a lighter colour back behind it as well. So it did the, the bird kind of um, stood out a bit more because I was going to use one of Jay's lovely colouring ones from last night, um, but it was just a little bit too, it was too much. So I'm just going to build this up here with a little bit of glue going on the back of these bits here. I just realised what the time is. <laughs> yeah, 25 to. It's fine. Plenty of time. Everyone's liking uh, your card and suggesting things which is lovely. Yeah, I think keeping the big flowers pool party was a good uh, call. Yeah. So that's that. We have that one last little sprigging going over there. Just to kind of like add that in. So I'm not sure um, if we have them. And I'm not sure how we would, I would use them. But do we have the champagne um, what? thing from the sweets? I don't know what package they are in. What? The, the I don't know what it looks like. These ones. Yes. Here. Remember, I counted them. <laughs> I bagged them. 
separately. I forgot about them, to be honest. <laughs> so, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I would say add dots of um, Dumbo where you want yeah. them. Um, let me take the pick tool and my putty end. Do you know where the putty? Oh, there's the putty end there. No, it's not that end there. It's that end. So you take this end off here. And we do that. And we just take some of these out. So I've got some of these large ones here. And we'll take a couple of the small ones. And I reckon what we will do is we will have... Do loads because there's plenty there. <laughs> Do loads. <laughs> you can go go to town with those ones, but not dimensionals. <laughs> <laughs> so I've kind of got a little bit of glue underneath where I want them to be, and then. Because these aren't adhesive backed. You can add more if you want, but we'll just do we'll do a couple on that. That's it. We we'll leave that as it is. And there is my take on the inspiration from the catalogue. Right there. So I didn't let me just have a little look. Let me just pull the um let me just pull the, the do a screen share. Let me see if I can bring that up. There we go. And I will just show you my inspiration which I took from this. So my inspiration from the website is if I just bring that there is that. Okay. So I I had that as my inspiration and that is what I turned it into okay so use the catalogue for ideas and, and help as well and that's that's literally what I did so I'm gonna hand you over to Jay where he will now do the second project and this one looks lovely as well and this is, uh, this is Jay's original so enjoy. Do you need me to? I'll just tidy up a little bit for Jay, just because I've got dyes floating around everywhere. That's so. fine. I've pre-dyed everything. Have you? Then cut them. Well, saying that, maybe we will we'll see. Well done, Barry. Love it. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that one. Yeah. If I do say so myself. Oh, it stands. It flies as well. It's, Look, whee. It's quite. It's quite. It's it's quite <laughs> embellishy for me, isn't it? Embellishy. <laughs> Great word, embellish it. Right, so uh, I will just move yeah. <laughs> some stuff because it's all my stuff are very. Bear with, bear with. Lovely. Bear with for a moment, just gonna have to re quickly reset. That's the problem when we have two of us crafting. Um, don't know where anything is. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Cool. Enjoy. There we go. So for my card, I'll be using this flower. And where is my bird? This is my favorite bird out of the ones that I've done. Yeah, that was the one I wasn't allowed to use. <laughs> so, there we go. And that's Bevel Paw, Flirty Flamingo, and Melon Mambo. So I'm actually gonna recreate uh, a card that I shared on Instagram and Facebook uh, today. Um, so it is, a cross trellis card 
but it's just uh, a layer on there. So I will be doing some embossing. with what's it called it's distress to shush distress style 3d embossing folder which was from the last mini but it is it carried over i believe i'm sure it's still available hopefully <laughs> or use any other embossing folder that you have if you want to recreate so that basic white is just the same size as the card front. So whatever card front size you're used to, we do different size to most people. And I'm actually gonna do this as a tent fold. So it is 11 inches by or one eighth of an inch or 28 centimeters by 10.5 so now I have my distress tile embossed and I'm just gonna cut that down uh, five mil smaller than the card front Just gonna get stuck down. Um, I prefer that this that side. I think yeah. I prefer the mainly the boss side, so I'm gonna do that. So that just gets added on with a small border around so yeah so five millimeter smaller or three sixteenth of an inch smaller than the card front and I've already pre-cut myself my strips so these are uh, half an inch in width in length uh, it is eight inches but it doesn't matter as long as it's longer diagonally than your card front so half an inch or what is that 1.3 centimeters these ones I have four that measures five millimeters or three sixteenths of an inch so I'm gonna have I'm gonna align the top on the top right and then the bottom on the bottom left or the left edge so it's like that and that's the way it is <laughs> uh, anyway so that's pretty much what the X trellis is gonna be like um, but we're gonna add dimensionals on there so where are my dimensionals and now you can use the adhesive um, strips as well but I tend to um, once you've laid one down you're gonna have to like cut into it anyway so dimensionals is okay uh, so I'm just gonna lay that down as a guide I'm gonna add my dimensionals on there and in between take that off Mary has asked can you show some of the other hummingbirds these colors and um, she really likes seeing your work so ah, thank you yeah, and Jane has it yeah. can you show what Mary would like that I think they're all on the floor <laughs> So I'm gonna lay that down, keeping, um, if I just, yeah, that's fine. 
I turned it over because um, my edge, when I cut cardstock, um, I tend to press really hard so it does have an edge to it. So that one's done. Do the same on the other side. So lay it down that way and then add your dimensionals. And of course that one's already got dimensional so it doesn't need another one. Take off the backing. It's these strip, strips, strips that's <laughs> gonna be slightly fiddlier. Right, I'm just gonna line that up again. Sorry, it's See, <laughs> I moved it. I'm trying, I'm rushing, that's why. But that's why. I don't get my head right on the top. Right, for these ones, I'm just gonna cut into the sides I don't know how many I need and then do the same so I guess you, you can lay it down and then uh, do it all in one go but I, I found that it's just this worked for me in the first place so I'm just gonna do it how I did it and you can also make it a, a bit more or you can uh, a bit more difficult I guess uh, step it up shall I say by actually having the trellis floating so it's only connected on the spine No, that one is, I didn't, um, I wasn't feeling that. <laughs> I thought I'll just lay down strips. That sounds easier. And then next, I'm gonna go on to there. keep cutting these oh well it's fine I can add another another one oh, where's the comments oh hello Caroline and I'm just pretty much eyeballing how far they are or how far the strips are and then that one next oh I think I need some more And with the floating one, you can use the other label die to strengthen it at the back so it actually um, covers your message as well inside instead of it being shown. 
maybe that can be another video. For a fun fold, it's kind of like a fun fold, but... Purposes ask what's the measurement of the thin strips, please. The thin strips are five millimeters by eight inches or 21 centimeters would be long enough. And this is just, um, yeah, we because we cut our uh, most of our basic white to fit in or our cost custom dimension of cardstock. So we have loads of strips and every now and again we do thin most of them, but we still have a load. So um, these were just cut, cut offs from that. And that's done. And I'm just gonna cut the excess. You can press in and use the side of the card to guide your scissor. That was slightly off, but oh well. And because of all that work, I wanted to show at least the, the middle. So um, that's why I'm going to add these kind of like around. And I've also got myself a pre die cut smoky slate with the swirl. Yeah, smoky slate for that one. Soft sea foam for the leafings. I've got two of them. And also some more leaves, but in just basic white. And there's a triple flower there, which I also cut in basic white. I'll just get them out. And thanks to Barry for reminding me of that um, champagne rhinestone, which, which is where? Yeah, it's only because I looked at the sweets and I thought, oh, has it got any? Has it got anything with it? <laughs> so I'm just gonna add these on. And I, I quite like this um, because it reminds me of uh, like looped linen thread. So I didn't add any more linen thread. I'm just going to add that on. So that one, I want to see the design. So I'm just going to go in. So, ooh, I think I should have gotten you, done you higher there. It doesn't matter really, it's just placements. Uh, you can cut into your dies, which I tend to do. And that's gonna go in. Stick and then one more. On top and just shape these. So yeah, it's just um and this one was <clears throat> inspired by the the it, the hop was favorite animation or cartoon 
and growing up I, I used to watch loads of those <laughs> I don't know if you're the same <laughs> um, I and this is um, inspired by X-Men hence the X trellis <laughs> and the original I did use uh, Cyclops colors which is blues and yellow I'll share the the original in a second because I am I want to say nearly done but I still need to do my um, sentiment <laughs> why are you laughing Here we go. <laughs> ish <laughs> so that's gonna go up top which is again Another dimensional. I'll I'll use three, seeing as it's small. So, what's your favorite um, cartoon or animation? Ooh, I don't want to see. Okay. I don't want to see that edge, so I'm just going to cut it. I thought I could get away with it. There you go. Squint. Don't forget to squint. Right, and then add a couple more. Uh, these ones I'm going to add after. I, I do the sentiment, so for the sentiment, I did use a different set, but I'm sure you, everyone's got different stamp sets, and what did I use? He's gone. Something fancy, happy birthday. A nice. These ones do have coordinating dice, but they're so they're all quite big. Um, I think the sending smiles have got a really thin uh, die cut. Also, wonderful thoughts, I believe. So I'm just gonna heat emboss quickly. black on white I did think oh I could do it in a different color but I think just black and white works well the squirrel in ice age love it yeah what was that um, Who's the one from you, New Orleans? I don't know. Oh, uh, Gambit. <laughs> With his cards. And yes, you Jackman as Wolverine. There we go. I think I read somewhere that um, they're doing a new one. I can't remember who they said it's gonna be Wolverine. Lanny! <laughs> there we go. I, I nearly did Wolverine for the colors, but I, I don't normally like too much yellow. But yellow and black and gray. I do like those color combinations to be fair. So yeah, so prepare a cardstock, stamp in Versamark. I'm just gonna sprinkle the powder and then use a heat tool. Ah, oh, woodpecker, yeah.
So I want this point um, point as in not point but was that straight? It looks quite straight, so I'm quite happy with that. But I'm just gonna trim it. Just eyeballing how far it is against the guard. That's probably going to be way too Ooh. small, but that's fine. And then this one. up with all of these so I in my original I did have it kind of like slightly offset but I quite like right in the center so I'm gonna do that again at dimensional because it's so thin just cut the mini even more and that's gonna go there so I need something in the center and I'm gonna double that up for extra support because it will be doubled up Not center, not quite. I think there. That's fine, and then just add some more leafings. We'll make use of these. This one is such a weird die with the two leaves at the bottom. Well, I think it looks weird, but and then finally we're gonna add our flowers. One, two, three, four, and a five. So you can shape these. I just use a what's that? Stylus or your back of your pick. What's that? <laughs> I've forgotten the names. Or the pick tool things. I don't know what they're called. What's this called, Barry? What's that? No. Pe piercer? Yeah, piercer. <laughs> yeah, piercer. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And then hopefully it still be big enough still in the middle that it will hold those champagne iridescent dots or we do have the metallic um, enamel effects basics so th that one can be of different sizes you can squeeze them out and make different size but seeing as we have this just, just pull how many are there one two 
I'm only just putting them out just so I can pick them up later again just add glue I like Barry's um, tip earlier with the pick tool if you can't get if you find that you're squeezing too hard use the um, pierce paper piercer what is it called to add it or take off the other side and instead of um, squeezing tap it down and it should give you a bead of um, tiny dot of glue right we're just gonna add this on Hopefully it'll stick. They were quite. Would they look like eggs? <laughs> Sunny side up. If it was really yellow, I guess it would look like proper eggs. Do you agree? Do they look like eggs? <laughs> Do they look like eggs? I'm just adding five of the odd because it's odd uh, there we go that is my uh, extra list card featuring the thoughtful expressions um, the coloring again was done uh, from our on online coloring masterclass with the replay still available on the website so the original that I did pretty was this one with the blue and the yellow and basic iridescent pearls and that's the other positive one I don't know what they're called Very this nice one Jack. yeah iridescent rhinestone basic jewels that looks pinky and the other one is iridescent pearls lovely yeah, Jay wasn't actually going to do this one tonight. You were thinking of it. You was going to no. do something else. Well, it was going to be my second card. Um, but oh, what tonight? But because yeah, I did that. If you didn't have one. But because I did my version. There we go. So there's our two cards from this evening. Amazing. Love it. So you can see Jay's is obviously is quite plain and uh, quite white. So obviously everything's out. Mine's quite busy. But I think it it looks busier on screen, so I'm looking at it now. But in yeah. person, it so you can it see it stands out quite nicely. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's our two cards from tonight. So I hope you have enjoyed that. So um, did um, these? Oh yeah, Mary, you wanted to see Jay's colouring, didn't you? Let's just move those over for a moment. Let's just show them again there. So green, blues, and purple. All purple, semi pink green and what's that orange there's lots of green and blues green blues and purple and pink i think that's what we did actually in the actual class pink and purple flowers i'm just picking up what i have <laughs> i love this one as well moody mauve so um purple and pink but i like that one and then this is what we did as well. Lovely. Orange and blues. So we will be on with Zoom after this as well. So if you'd like to come and join oh, us for a little chat, then you can do. Um, that's lovely. I just like the strong colours, which, mm. which is why that's... I liked my one, the one, yeah. the one which I picked, because I liked the, the contrasting colours which you've got there as well. So which is why I quite like Yeah, that's a lot. Sketchier. That was, I think, my first go um, with random lines. But yes. Lovely. Excellent. I've seen you've got the flowers as well. Some more. Yeah, you've done yeah some I think there. yeah, the flowers is the so one that good. I use. Let me um, see. Lovely. So, um, hopefully we'll see you on the next Zoom, Charlotte. So, um, yeah. 
Ooh, there we have I'm, it. I'm really low. There you go. Excellent. So, come on, I know you want to come in. Oh. He's just sat. Have, have you been waiting? You've been waiting patiently behind there. Come on, going. There you go. Take centre stage. He in did. The middle. He, uh, we had an interlude in the, during the colouring masterclass because he wanted to be in shot and actually lay down on the table. Yes, he laid right down. I had to come and rescue Jay from a cat. <gasps> so, um, so, yes, so we're going to go over to Zoom right now. So, thank you so much for joining us. Do remember you can purchase your Stampin' Up Craft supplies from us. So, just head to that link which is on the screen right now, matuzicrafts.com forward slash flash flash slash shop um and you can order your stamping up craft supplies from us via that link right there um come on tommy back this way um so yeah so thank you we will be back with you on friday you're gonna have a double well we've got fun fold friday on friday if we come up with anything you're gonna have a bit of a double whammy if we do do fun fold friday because at six o'clock on friday i have got my stamp around uk video hop going live um, so that's at six, which is a very, very simple card. Um, and um, and oh. then at seven o'clock, we should be on for Fun Fold Friday. Um, so do check us out, um, Double Whammy. Um, and then we'll be back with you on Sunday at 7 p.m., same time, same place. Hopefully, if you're um, back. Yeah, should be yeah. Lovely. So um, we will see you on Zoom in a few minutes. Tommy obviously wants to get in on the yes. action. Um, we'll see you on Zoom in a few minutes. If not, we will see you on Friday. Cool. Take care, everyone. Thank see you, you so soon. much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.